My wife and I just had a baby. Uh, it didn't happen on purpose. We had this app that told you when to pull out, and I didn't update it. <laughs> she told me she a pill, and then I realized the pill was a molly. <laughs> we have a girl. Initially, I wanted a boy. I want to teach him how to fight. So hopefully, when she grows up, she'll be a lesbian. Um, <laughs> lesbians make the best fighters because they make the tightest fists. Bring it on, people. Bring it on. Is this the audience for Christ right now? Is that what's going on? The baby was actually three weeks late, so I was worried the father might be black. I gotta be honest, I didn't like having sex with my wife when she was nine months pregnant. I felt like I was getting too close to the kid, and I don't want her first words being, me too. We were trying to think of a name. My cousin was like, name the kid to where it was conceived. They conceived their kid at the Westin, and then named their kid Weston. I'm like, great, so my kid will be called Grandma's Futon. <laughs> we decided we're not gonna spank our baby. It's 2020, we're gonna tase her. <laughs> That's funny, thank you. What are you, the Simon Cowell of Mesquite? I appreciate it. I was in the delivery room. Watching a baby come out of a vagina is like watching an elephant leave a smart car. My wife, she was in so much pain, and she's like, my friend said this would be easy. I'm like, that's because their vaginas are huge. I know, I've seen them. Okay, um, so. <laughs> Well, she was in pain, I tried to make her feel better. She's like, this is the hardest thing I ever had to do, is try to make her laugh, which wasn't the best time. I was like, that's because you never did comedy in Mesquite, Nevada. Um, <laughs> I don't know, when that baby came out, they handed me the child, you know, I'm, I'm, I didn't know what to do, I thought I was going to screw it up, my wife said, pick up your shirt, skin on skin contacts is better, so I did, and I posted a picture and put it on Facebook, and people were like, were you trying to breastfeed the baby too? <laughs> my wife would breastfeed and then hand me my child, and she would go for my nipple, and nothing came out, but I, I feel like I was teaching her a very valuable lesson, which is that men are going to let you down. <laughs> You just laugh and say, that's funny, okay? I, I like I'm doing comedy for a Batman cartoon, like, pow! Oh. My wife used to smoke weed, but she's breastfeeding, doesn't want the kid to become twice as hungry. I've been spending so much time with my kid, I'm doing things by habit, like my wife was giving me a blowjob, and I started to burp her. I went to go buy formula and diapers, and the lady at Rite Aid was like, oh, is this for your baby? I'm like, no, my wife and I have some really kinky stuff. Uh, we take Throwback Thursday very seriously here. The baby actually, her first tooth came in, so I took her to Kentucky so she fits in. You got that one late, but I'll take it. Okay, thank you. Crazy though, her first birthday came up, my wife said, we should have a party. And I'm like, all right, okay. She's like, I need a budget of $5,000. What? So there has to be a theme. I'm like, it'll be poverty. <laughs> I got invited to a gender reveal party last week, which was strange, because the person was 40. 